All right, what is going on today, guys? Today is March 1st, and imagine that. It is snowing again, and the weatherman called for one to three. Now we've got five inches, and it's still snowing really hard. Comment down below if you've ever seen where the weatherman was actually right. I don't think I've ever actually seen him right. He says five to eight, we get two to three. He says if you get one to three, we get five, and we get, we've already got a solid five inches of fluff, and it's still snowing super hard. And also, today is actually my birthday, so lucky me I get to plow my birthday. Comment below and guess how old I am. First one to guess my actual age wins free, how about this, free hat. I'll mail you a hat if you can guess my age. As long as it's someone I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well I'm back here at um, Sheepy Hill. I'm going to get, uh, I've been doing, I went and did a couple sidewalks earlier today. And then I've been doing uh, pulse plow prep like always, getting everything ready. This plow is still leaking, so I went and got some uh, fluid for it. I'm going to brush it all off, get it all warmed up, ready to go for um, Paul when he gets here. Be here, uh, it's about 4 o'clock now. It's supposed to start, stop around 6, so we're going to get everyone going around 6. So I'm going to get the, the plow oiled up, get the truck wiped off, get her all warmed up and ready to go for Paul when he uh, gets here. Puppies. This is Axe Dog Sky. Hey Sky, here's a good girl. Here's a good girl, Sky. Here's a good puppy. Here's a good puppy. Is that what kind of dog is she? Oh, we, that's a Brittany. A Brittany. Brittany, yeah. We got the uh, we got the same birthday. Yeah, they do. You guys, you guys do. Look at the squirrel. She's got her squirrel. <laughs> oh, there's your squirrel. <laughs> oh crap, guys. How old is she? She's uh, two today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here's a good girl, puppy. Alright, we, uh, we got the, uh, all the all the townhomes done, we whipped through them super quick, we've got uh, all the commercial done, we're just touching up the sidewalks here, and then uh, we're heading to the church and start the residentials. So we got seven guys going, so we're, uh, we're getting through them pretty quick. Yeah! Hey Brandon, what's it like to work for GNM? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> what do you like about it? It's fun. It's fun, yeah, easy. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, this snow is nice. It's so light. Yeah, it's not bad. Thanks a lot for helping out. Not a problem. Anytime. All right, guys. The last time I filmed was like 11:30. Now it is the next day. It's about six o'clock, and I am just wrapping up. Been going for about uh, no clue 30 some hours. Check out this pusher. This here is a uh, this is a brand new foot. The car's completely mangled. That thing is it's completely smashed in. Somehow there a couple bolts magically disappeared out of there. So that's, that's nice. Um, and I, I don't know if you can see on here. It's tough to see, but this thing is bent. This thing is so tweaked and bent. It's uh, it's pretty cold. Pretty much uh, totaling it out. But uh, check this out. This is what I absolutely love about uh, wheel machines. This is like out of everything. This has got to be like my most favorite thing about wheel machines ever. Yep, flat tires. Gotta love. Flat tires. It's uh, it's bulging really good. I just think there's five, five pounds or something in there. It's hard to tell, but it's it's bulging bad. This new bucket is slick. Like I literally mean like slick, like super slick. This thing moves a lot of snow though, and so far I'm impressed with it. Get up in here. Um, so far I'm not impressed at all with the quota. One good nice thing is right here's a little perfect little spot to hide the key. So no, no one will ever see it. Check this out. Okay, so this is a yeah, drop the key. And uh, this is a brand new machine. It's a brand new like 2018 Kubota SSV 75. Check this out. We had the 65 for a couple months too. Both this thing got like 118 hours on when we got it. Um check this out. And the key. Whoa. 176 hours. We got this thing with 118, like seemed like a week ago. Oh, of course, it works. Um, we had it. It's happened like three, four times where you turn the key, turn the key, nothing, nothing. The thing just clicks, then nothing happens. Like it ain't gonna start. To be honest, I am not impressed whatsoever with these Kubotas. The SSV 65 one we had for a couple months put 150 hours on it. This one we've already put or 55 hours on it. We've already put 55 hours on this thing. And same thing, I would uh, call it pretty much a cheap piece of junk, to be, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> it's one thing or another, the fuel gauge is slow, it's throwing codes, um, the key, you, 
turn a key for five minutes, nothing would happen. Um, yeah, it's just like, and like, just like for one, it's like the heat, like the heat back up here, like, like come on, seriously, like, I want to turn the heat, and I gotta, I, I like, I want to adjust the heat, I gotta like turn around and kink my neck and try do this and that and the other. It's like, no, that's 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 not legitimate. That's like, that's a horrible spot for it. Yeah, and like the door, I think the door is a really good design, like the way it, the way it comes down like that and works. But on both of them. We've already had hardcore issues with uh, this little knob right there. You get a little ice or something on there, which obviously you're gonna, it's Minnesota and it's winter and it snows and you use it for plowing. And it freezes up, yeah, tap on it with a hammer, give it the boot, it's just, to be honest, nothing but a pain. Um, one thing I do like about this machine is these foot pedals. See like how wide open they are, like there's plenty of room to get your foot on there and work them. On the Bobcat, they're quite a bit. Um, they're quite a bit, it's more, it seems like it's more like compact, and like there's just not as much room. That's what they like with these, like, it's like free and easy to use. A lot more, uh, better access to the pedals. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I am going to uh, air up that tire. Uh, I'm about to get started. I'm not gonna shut it off now until I'm done for tonight. I gotta go to the church, push back some piles, and move, move, move a little snow around. It's Saturday evening, so get ready for them in tomorrow. Fuel this thing up, air up that tire, leave it running until I'm done with her, because who knows, it may or may not start again. You never know, it's a quota. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, gonna get her loaded up here, and uh, keep uh, putting, this bucket, putting this bucket to use. Uh, yeah, it uh, should be good. Another thing, imagine that. This uh, this deal right here for the for the stroll, you know, where you plug, plug your beacon in. This thing only works some of the time. I look at it, like right there. It's plugged in, no light on. Take a look around. Oh, there it is. Now it works. Move away. Oh, no. Oh, oh, there it is. It's like even even just the simplest things like the cigarette lighter doesn't even work half the time. It's like come on. You spend 50 grand on something that only works here and there. Like right there, like nothing. You kind of wiggle it around a little bit. Oh, there it is. Kind of on. There it is. Oh, there it is off. Oh, it's just, it's literally, it's one thing after another with this thing. So, personally, I would never buy one. Straight straight up, and never ever buy one. One thing I ever buy was a Bobcat, and that's what we'll be buying in the spring. We got approved, we can go pick one up any time now. Um, our parents just, we, we signed a five, five or six month contract for this one, so we're just basically burning that out. And let's get to the end of that, middle of March, and we'll uh, go pick up a brand new, I still haven't decided. What do you think I should do? You think I should go get a, a brand new 595 or save 10 grand and get one that's a year or two old that has 300 hours? What do you think? What would uh, what would you do? Either way, I can I can go to either or. But my banker um, suggested getting saving 10 grand and getting one with 300 hours. But then it's like your warranty only goes so far. If it's a year warranty. I think Bob has a two-year warranty. Thought it was just a lot of. Uh, it's, uh, yes, and people get 10 different opinions. Of course, you ask uh, the dealer, oh yeah, I'll get a new one, get a new one. They're all yeah, new, 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 new. So, I don't know, let me know what uh, let me know what your thoughts are, comment below. If I should get one a couple hundred hours or get a brand new one. But it's like a couple hundred hours, and if it's still a good, reliable machine, it's just broken in, and I save 10 grand, it's like I could pay off my single cap for 10 grand, and then have that paid off, like that's, I mean, and another scary thing is, okay, we, we get it, we get a brand new machine, at the end of the summer it has four or five hundred hours on it, and it's worth ten grand less than what we paid for it. That's kinda, that's, you know, you use it a year and it costs you ten grand, that's kinda ridiculous, so. Yeah, I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments below. And all right, I'm gonna get this thing loaded up and get to the church and get that snow moved so I can get some sleep eventually. All right, catch you guys later.